Found you. Teleportation activate. Dang it. Not even a thank you. Jack, did you kill someone again? Nua. Jacks. Hacks. Hacks. You messed up a mission, didn't you, Zappers? Not messed up. She just is dead. That's called messing up. Which mission was it? I'm 73? No. Your brother did 73. Your mission was 74, Zappers did. You. Do. Any research like at all? Yes, I think. I looked at the paper. Unbelievable. I bet you couldn't tell me anything about the prisoner you rescued. Yay. Besides what they look like. Name? Age? Preferred pronouns? Where they're from? Maybe. <coughs> Jeez, when did it get so bright? Is it midday already? You're a shut in. I'm also your boss. Abuse of power. <coughs> Jax. Firefly. You know you're my favorite, right? I know. Oof. I think I got them to calm down a little bit. Good job. I'll take it from here. Hey. It's okay. I know it's a lot to take in. You're safe here. Just let us know when you're ready. Jax, your goggles are magic? Why didn't you ever let me try them on? Part of me wonders why we even have you kids doing these missions. Cause we can teleport. Cause you can teleport. Well, no. Cause Mama can teleport too. And she does missions. Well, yes. I know and she does a fine job at that, but she's been gone all week, visiting the sorceress. So you two have to pick up the sack. Ha. Huh. You just answered your own question. Oh, and speaking of which, if a certain little rabbit wants to keep doing missions, then they're going to have to learn how to properly research and know how to act around the people they save. Yeah, Firefly. Do your research. She was referring to you, dummy. And I do research. I write everything in my notebook. You. Don't touch me with it. Why, ew? It's not gross. You probably lick it. What? It's paper. Why would I lick it? Because you like the taste of paper. I don't. To a or a book licker. Stop. Jax tell Lightning Bug to stop. You spilled your paper clips. Uruga, I'm actually getting a migraine from you too. So, minor change of plans. I was going to do some BS friendship lesson and show you how to properly help out scared rescuees, but we can save that till after your parents come home. I'm tired, so we're going to just clean sweep this fast. Zappers, sit in a corner quietly and read this book. And Firefly. Yes, Jax? Go get Bonnie. Sigh. Jax, what does BS mean? Banana sandwich. Zappers, can you do something for me? Yeah, what should I do? Take this empty paperclip box and fill it with sand. There's an open bag of sand on bottom of the shelf near the furnace. Sand, 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 
Sand, sand, sand, sand. Zappers, don't make a mess. Got sand. Good. Okay. Great. Now take the lens that Firefly dropped and put it into the box. How did the weird lizard lady disappear with this? Could she teleport too? Lizard person, if you read the file, you'd know that they are gender neutral. And you'll find the answer to your question on page 145 of the book. Oh, sorry. Can they teleport too? Page 145. Come on, Bonnie. Coming. I got Bonnie. Hi, Jax. What do you need me to do? Bonnie. Sweet, 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 sweet Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Thank you so much for coming. Ha ha. Yeah. What do you need? Take this. And now make friends with it. Vailp. I won't question you. Thank you. You can go home now. Ha ha, okay, have a good day then. Bye, Bonnie. Firefly. Your next errand head over to Ralph and Flans to get a glass of cord and give that to Bonnie. Yes, ma'am. What should I do? Keep reading the book. What should we cook for supper? Stew. What kind? Artichoke stew. Can I cook it? No. You never follow the recipe. I do. I follow recipes. Last time you added too much salt. It wasn't salty enough. You made it so salty that it was inedible. Even Emma, Orianne couldn't eat it. And she likes all food. HMF, I'm cooking. You can chop veggies. Hold the knife properly, you dummy. Done. Zep set the table. Oh, Mom. Is it salty enough? <clears throat> no, but. When will they be back? Mama and Orianne? Yeah. Soon, I think. It's only been a week. Orianne's cooking is better. Angry Bunway groan. You know what? We have extra stew. So I'm bringing some to Jax. I'm tired of being alone in this house with you. Why are you mad? I'm not mad. You look mad. Stop being mad. Sniff. Jax, we brought stew. S N R K. Oh well, thank you, a firefly. What's wrong? I don't know. Do you need a hug? Yes. Hey, it's okay. Take some deep breaths. Sob. Can we sleep at your house tonight? Of course. Let me bring out the spare mattresses. Who okay? Uh. Spare mattress is under the bed. Blankets and pillows in the closet. Are you going to sleep too? I wish. No, I still have paperwork to do. Oh. <laughs> Needs more salt. Z, 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 Z. Sigh. And then the prince turned back into a handsome frog when the princess kissed him. They were so happy that they got married. Ha ha. The end. Ha ha, you know. This is like having an imaginary friend. I'm having fun. Ha ha. I kinda wish you were real. Then I can have another friend. Ha ha. Bunny. Come help clean the kitchen. Coming, Papa.
Where even am I? Ha ha. Oh, hello there. I'm Bonnie. What's your name? Ha ha, you sure like cookies, huh? This is the best thing I've eaten in weeks. Ha ha, wait, what have you been eating then? I don't know. It was yucky. Wait. Ha ha. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Silly me. Ha ha. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no. Are you okay? I didn't mean to be that loud. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I just had a realization and got excited. I was so confused for a bit cause you just showed up in my room. Ha ha, but I got it now. You're a rescuee, right? Ha ha, you were in Jax's lands. Rescuee? Yeah. Firefly or Zappy saved you from some prison, right? Yeah, ha ha, the bunnies. Oh, they were scary. Really? Ha ha. Well, the green one was. Yeah, ha ha. Jax is having them do rescue missions recently. Rida used to do most of those. But she started training them to do missions three months ago. Zappy caused her first rescuee to pass out. Ha ha. I didn't see it but Firefly told me all about it. We're besties. What happens to the rescuees? Almost leave to find their families but lots stay here. Tomorrow I'll take you to talk to Jax. She's in charge of all that stuff. You'll get to choose whether to stay here in our village or go out to head back to your family. I'll go get a sleeping bag for you. I'm back. I got a sleeping bag and cookies. Trinket, trinket, well what are you doing up here? Bonnie, I wanna go home. Sob I wanna go home. Shh, it's okay. We'll get you home. Tomorrow we'll talk to Jack and she be able to get you home. But we can't be on the roof it's dangerous. Can we get back to my room please? Okay. Yawn. He he he. Jackson? Hello? Oh. Hello, Lightning Bug. Is Jackson awake? I need to speak with her. I don't know. Flynny. Maybe. It's Flynn, actually. Um, can I talk to her, please? It's urgent. HMF fine.
Yes. What's up? Sorry for waking you, Jackson, but there's a problem with... Yawn. Did you bring any coffee? No. Was I supposed to? Is that a thing now? Nah. You're good, old man. I was only joking. What's the issue? The gazebo's waypoint is cracked. Banana sandwich. Erg. Zappers. Teleport Flynn to the gazebo. I noticed that the metal sheet was dented so I checked the waypoint and saw the crack. That is going to be a huge hassle to fix. Well, good news. We should be able to salvage it before it gets worse. I did warn you about getting a cheap one. I bought what we could afford. It just happened to be a cheap one. What's wrong with it? Well, Zappers, it has a crack. That's what's wrong. Now while it can still function, the crack can lead to breakage and that is really bad. Why? Uh, okay think about it this way. If you were on a mission, and the waypoint broke, you wouldn't be able to teleport back home. If the waypoint broke, your father wouldn't be able to visit and your mother and Orianne would be stuck in Deep City until we got a new waypoint or fix. And both of those options are extremely expensive and time-consuming. I suppose there is the option of teleporting to nearby town and walking 25 to 30 miles back to here. You gotta fix it. I wanna see Mama. Yeah, that's the plan. Do you have any wear glue left? No. I used it up the last time this cracked. I'll ask Ryda to get some on her next pinpoint mission. You gotta fix it now. What if it breaks before they come back? As long as it's left alone that shouldn't happen. Besides they should be coming back this evening or tomorrow. Besides, I want them back as you do. I'm tired of doing all that paperwork by myself. Oh, sorry Flinny for sidelining you. I'm heading to the cafe to de-stress. Would you like to come? Oh, no, I'm good. I've got thing I need to do. Thank you for informing me of this. You are welcome have a nice day. You too. Welcome to my cafe. How may I help you? Biscuit. Were you in the ceiling? No. There's a hole in my ceiling. Okay. Maybe. I was. But where else am I supposed to sleep? In the spare room. Oh. But I like the ceiling. The spare room is in the attic. It's part of the ceiling? That's two things I have to fix this week. You look like someone who needs some coffee so you aren't mad at me anymore. You'd think. So, are we going to burrow in the ceiling anymore? No. Good. Jax, we've been looking everywhere for you. We wanted to return your lens and talk. Oh good I needed that back. Did you receive the glass liqueur I asked Firefly to get you? Yeah it did. It's super pretty. Trinket was so happy when they got it. Go on. Give Jax her lens back. It's okay I don't bite. Thank you. Well it's rather good that you'd like to talk. We have a decent bit to sort out. Why yeah you're welcome. It's the lizard law person. Ow. Sob, I'm sorry, Sob, I didn't mean T-O-O-O-O. Sob, would you like me to leave and come back a later time? N-O-O-O, -O -O. all right. It's just I don't wish to be insensitive to your emotions, but business is business. And I have work to finish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Well, starting off, would you like to stay here in our town or go home? I want to go home. And do you have a parent or guardian I can contract? The periarch? All right. Do you know where they are? Does your lounge have a waypoint to travel to? Okay, any nearby city that we might be able to find someone you know? You could just drop me off in the desert and I'll search for them. You're 15 years old, correct? Then unfortunately I can't let you do that. Until I get in contact with families or guardians I'm responsible for all underage rescuees. I'll do my best get in contact with your family but until then, you'll have to as I dare. And now I'm in time out. You did scare the living daylights out of Trinket. Who's Trinket? What do you mean who's Trinket? They're the lizard person you rescued. It wasn't even my mission and I knew their name. That's because you read everything. It's not my fault reading is boring. Maybe that's why I'm Jax's favorite. What? what? Yep. She said so herself just yesterday. Ja A X X Y H H. What why? Zep stumped on me. He said that he was your favorite. Well, Firefly doesn't jump on people for starters. So you like book clicker better? I don't like books. You're not a book clicker. 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 Can you both try to make my life a little easier? I'm up to my neck in paperwork without Orian. I've received mutiful complaints about a water leak in the flats. The cafe ceiling has a hole. I'm running on three hours of sleep and five cups of coffee. The waypoint is cracked and I still have to deal with you too. The waypoint is broken? Okay, look. It's just cracked. It will still work as long as it left alone. It's only a big problem if a chunk breaks off. So maybe head home and clean up your house before your mothers come back. You should probably clean your side of the room. Fine. I don't wanna. Stop. I had all those folded. You're a jerk. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You mess up your missions. You stomp on me. You mess up my stuff. I bet you cracked the waypoint. No, I didn't. I bet I can prove you did it. See, my paw is too small. You were wrong. Try your foot. You. Broke. It. But. I. Why you probably jumped onto hard after a mission or something. Are you gonna tell Jax? I don't know if I'm looking forward to Jax's reaction to this or dreading it. It has been a terribly long week, hasn't it? I'm looking forward to seeing my babies again. It's good to be home. Well, that's annoying. Why do these keep falling out? Took you too long enough. Jax, hey, welcome back. 
How was your trip to Deep City? Oh man, it was about the craziest week I've ever had. You are going to freak after you see what happened to Rita. But don't worry, I got everything on your list. Well, thank you. But what happened to Rita? Mama, what was Deep City like? Busy and beautiful as always. Did you get to meet the sorceress? Did you get us presents? Oh, you got me. Of course I did. Haha, ha, okay, okay. Pray say, pray say, presents. Here, Firefly. These are new books I wanted. T.O.F.F. Volume 71. And History of the Sorceress. Thanks, Mama. E.U. You wanted a history book? Mama. What did you get me? Tada. Gasp. Thank you. Mother, what have you done? It was Orion's idea. Rida, what happened? I bought Zappa Squeaky Toy. I'm sorry. Well, no, I don't care about that. Your leg is broken. Oh, yeah. So, what happened? Well, have some supper first. Thank you. Well, when we first arrived, I tripped outside the Waypoint Station. I landed on my ankle. And you didn't think about contacting me. About this? At all during the week? Oh. Yeah, we probably should have sent a note back. But it's okay. I handled it like an adult. The hospital was right across from the waypoint station. In the waiting room. I met this man who said that he had a cure all for any injuries. Rida, he was very professional looking. Rida, how much was it? Uh. Rida. Free? Somehow that's even worse than super expensive. Orianne, why didn't you stop her? Ba, I was busy getting her checked in. It tasted like soap. She had to be treated for potential poisoning as well as her ankle. How much did it cost? Actually, the sorceress was kind enough to cover costs. Rida, show me the cure for all I know you kept it. Okay, hold on. Here, Orianne, I need the next mission files. Thank you for supper. Jax, hold on a second, don't you want your items first? I'll save it for tomorrow. All right. Good night then. Good night. H.M. Uh, H.H.H.G. U U U H H G Back to work then H M Huh? The heck? Like I don't have enough things to do. T-C-H. Ugh. Like I need more things to babysit. Jax will do whatever we want if we offer her enough money. Sigh. Don't be stupid. You already have bitten off way too much. It is a lot of money. I could accept. Uh, H-H-G-G. Ra, H-H-H. Good night, sweet peas. Night, night. Good night, Mama.
Into our universe, the first star was born, the beginning of our world and of magic. Out of all the planets that were created in her wake, she chose ours to inhabit. An immortal being that defines the very essence of magic we named her the sorceress. Every other century she would fall into a deep slumber to recharge her magical power. Then she would awaken and travel the world to discover the progress we had made in her absence. She was benevolent and kind, as she assisted her people with their struggles. After many centuries she discovered that if she forged half her magical power into a physical object then she wouldn't have to recharge as often and her slumber would be shorter. With her new discovery, she forged a powerful staff to aid her from then on. She founded Deep City, the grand city of magic and where she resided. Her benevolence was felt by all who lived there and she was beloved by many. She gained numerous loyal followers. However, jealousy is also ever-present between love and praise. One day while out on a walk through a nearby forest, the sorceress found a lost lady who was sick and injured. The sorceress was never one to ignore someone in need. So she guided the lady up to her castle in Deep City to help her recover from her illness and injuries. As the lady rested in the castle, she became close friends with the sorceress. Since the lady had no home of her own, the sorceress offered to let her live in the castle. The lady gladly accepted the offer. Late during the night while the sorceress slept, a dark figure crept toward her staff. The sorceress awoke to find her staff and the lady missing, without her staff close by as a second source of magic. The sorceress has to enter the realm of magic to recharge. During the time of the sorceress's absence, the lady made her true intentions known. She was horribly jealous of the with her new power from the staff she wanted to take over the bountiful lands. To have the people under her full control, and to eventually become the new sorceress. She began capturing innocents and holding them in dungeons until they swore loyalty to her. When the sorceress awoke, she quickly became horrified by what had occurred. Alas without her staff she was not as powerful as she once was. She had to resort to defensive tactics to rescue the innocents such as forming an agency and recruiting towns not yet affected by the lady. The lady continued her ruthless takeover, unaware of the sorceress's awakening. This tale of woe has not yet reached its final page. It is up to us to aid the sorceress and make the ending a happy one. It is up to you. Come and join the sorceress's citizen rescue and protection organization to make a better world for tomorrow.